The number of babies born in the country fell below the 20,000 level for the first time for any February this year. Amid deepening woes about the country's demographics, amid rapid aging and the ultra-low birth rate. 급속한 고령화와 조, 어, 초저 출산으로 국내 인구 구조에 대한 고민이 깊어지는 가운데 올해 2월 출생아 수가 2월 기준 처음으로 2만 명 아래로 떨어졌습니다. Less and less babies, especially for February, we're looking at the lowest figure ever. Yeah, the lowest figure ever for a February. Um, to be exact, 19,000. 362 babies were born. That's down 3.3% from a year earlier. Mm. <clears throat> of course, it's, as you, as you said earlier on, also the lowest figure we've seen for that month. It is, yep. Yeah. For sure, and the lowest since they've been compiling this data in 1980, since 1981, actually. Mm. And uh, also, the number of deaths actually increased in February this year. Mm. It actually increased 9.6%. However, the result, the results for that could be a little bit skewed because mm. of a leap year. So there was an, ah, because okay. it's a leap year, so mm. there's an extra day in February. I so yeah. that could add to the deaths. Uh -huh. That did, that did make the deaths a little bit higher. 그렇군요. 사망자 수는 오히려 늘었고, 이렇게 출생자 수는 줄었다는 것을 알수 있습니다. This is adding to woes. Sure is. Woes means problems, ah. trouble. So a lot of times mm. you'll hear about economic woes, mm -hmm. political woes. Right. Someone might be experiencing financial woes mm. because they lost their job, for example. 그렇죠. W-O-E-S 붙일 수도 있고 안 붙일 수도 있는데요. 고민거리라는 의미가 될수 있고 걱정거리가 될 수도 있습니다. So, woes in terms of uh, the population, yes, in this case. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm. Problems, troubles that are going to yeah. uh, surface because of this. Yes. Or are, you know, maybe even issues, problems that are already happening. Mm. Uh, the population in Korea is rapidly aging. Sure is, right. So anything, if you see rapid, you know it means really, really quickly, mm -hmm. really, really fast. So um, Korea is getting old very, very quickly. I do have some stats on this. Mm -hmm. uh, Korea is expected to be a highly aged country by 2072. Uh, the median age right in 2022 was 44.9, so almost 45. By 2072, they say the median age will be 63.4. Now, wow. what does median age really mean? Does, why does this matter? The median age divides the population into two numerically equal groups. So mm -hmm. that means half the people are younger, mm -hmm. half the people are older. Right. So we're going to go from 44.9 all the way to 63.4. Wow, 그렇군요. 그 median age라는 것은 정말 딱 가운데, 정중앙에 있는 숫자를 얘기하고 있습니다. 근데 2022년 기준으로 이걸 이제 중위라고 하나요? 가장 가운데에 있는 나이가 44.9세, 45세 정도였다고 하는데 2022년 기준. 2072년이 되면요. 은 우리나라 인구의 딱한 가운데에 있는 나이가 63세가 될 거다 이런 얘기를 합니다. 그만큼 엄청나게 고령화가 될 것이다 라는 예측이 나오고 있네요. Rapidly aging, 아주 급속도로 고령화가 되고 있는 모습입니다. Here's the headline again. The number of babies born in the country fell below the 20,000 level for the first time for any February this year. Amid deepening woes about the country's demographics, amid rapid aging and the ultra-low birth rate. Okay, let's move on to the second headline.